is Deb Carson from Fox Sports Radio, and you're listening to Jim and Florence on the Forum. Hi, everyone. This is James Patrick, and we wanted to wish everyone a happy holiday. We were going to take a couple weeks off, but we got some great news, and we just wanted to share it with you. Florence, we're very excited about what's happening. Why don't you explain to the fans what's going on this Friday? Yes, this Friday, January 1st, New Year's Day, our friend Colin Macy O'Toole is back on Bravo TV, and we couldn't be more excited. He's going to be back with Below Deck's Galley Talk with the Below Deck Med alumni, which I think is really exciting. Welcome back to the forum, Colin. Congratulations on your new show. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks, guys, for having me. I appreciate it. I hope you guys had a uh, good holiday season. And, uh, yeah, thanks for reaching out. I appreciate it. I love always uh, being on here. Well, thanks, Colin. I, I see you beating the crap out of Leonardo DiCaprio, getting in front of the Titanic, saying you're king of the world because this is big news for a big show. <laughs> I think this is going to be a huge hit. You know, I, you know, I, I don't really think about, you know, if, it, if it's going to do well or not. You know, I, I just think when, when they pitched the idea to me and they wanted me to part, be a part of their project. First of all, I'm very flattered. Anytime any, anyone asks you to be a part of their project, you have to kind of take that into consideration. And, uh, you know, obviously I was on cloud nine when they asked me. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just the show in general. You know, like I said, I don't care if it does. I mean, obviously I hope it does well. But, um, you know, I just, you know, it was just a fun project. And it was just something to uh, take your mind off of all the craziness that is 2020, you know. Oh, and, uh, you know, the fact that they asked me, no question, I, I said yes. And uh, I had a blast doing it. For our fans that aren't familiar with a show like this, why don't you uh, tell them what exactly is Galley Talk? Yeah, so Galley Talk is uh, is very similar to uh, another show called um, – uh, actually, I think Bravo actually did it a couple of years back called View- Viewer's Couch, mm-hmm. uh, Viewing Couch, I think. Uh, 90 Day Fiance does something called Pillow Talk. Um, so it's very similar. It's a bit, basically a bunch of below-deck franchise uh alums getting together in uh you know everyone's apartment and we're just kind of just drinking eating have a good time and just watching the new episodes of below deck together and just commenting on you know our takes like yeah things that we might have done different or you know but i was with uh bobby g and cola and uh, you know we we just rank we ragged on each other the whole time you know <laughs> so it's, it's basically just uh you know, just a fun time together and uh, hopefully just uh, an hour of just people just kind of escaping, uh, you know, the craziness that is 2020. And I hope uh, everyone enjoys it. Your last music drop. I know June June Hannah is off the charts, but your last music drop explaining the show, your best one ever. I loved it. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, I actually um, if I could plug a little something real quick. Yeah, um, absolutely. When I was down, I was in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, filming in uh, Bobby's apartment uh, with Galley Talk. And I actually, Bravo emailed me saying that I got a, uh, what's called a Pro Max Award, uh, which is an award for best marketing, uh, like on television. Uh, so what, what, what it was, was I did a, a rap for BravoCon. It's basically, you know, the commercials and stuff sure. like that. That's basically what the awards for. Um, I did an award for BravoCon. Uh, and it was basically a below deck history rap. Uh, it was about like a, you know, a minute and a half, two minutes long. Uh, I went through every season. And so they emailed me. I got a silver award. I lost to uh, ABC. They did uh, a Queen song, which they probably spent, you know, a bunch of money on. But oh. I beat out, uh, beat out, beat out a bunch of Disney. I beat out a bunch of Disney songs and commercials and stuff. So, um, wow. you know, the, yeah, so I, it was it, Took me by surprise, definitely. So, uh, you know, I'm sure Bravo loves that. And uh, I was definitely pleasantly surprised. Well, you're a great person to be talking about these shows and you're a great representative. And also say hi to your mom and dad for us, definitely. Yes, thank we you. I appreciate them. it. Looking at these shows off the air, we were talking about how some of the people on the shows, it seems like the behaviors just get starting to get insane. I mean, someone, I'm so bad on names, but I forgot the chef that called out Captain Lee. Yeah, uh, Rachel, Rachel. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. How could to have the disrespect and Rachel's a loose cannon, obviously, and that's kind of her thing. But boy, some of it I think is funny. Some of it is 
just weird. But when you see people cross the line, how do you feel? Because Captain Lee's a good guy. Yeah, definitely. I've worked uh, did a couple events with Captain Lee. He's a he's a sweet guy. Um, you know, I think Rachel kind of gets a pass just because she's a chef. Yeah. Right. Chefs are just naturally out of their minds. Right. Like uh-huh. Ben's a little crazy. <laughs> Adam can get a little crazy. You know, like all the chefs are like, you know, they're they're just a different breed, you know. Yep. Um, but no, I, I totally agree. I don't think when I rewatch that, I don't think she was actually cursing at Captain Lee. I thought she was more just kind of just saying like F off just because of the press preference sheet that she was yeah. reading. Just kind of like like more towards the guests more than Captain Lee, but uh, but still, I mean, you got to kind of keep it together a little bit. But yeah, I mean, you know, I watching the last, like I said, watching Galley talk. Uh, we watched the rest of the season, and uh, she does a great job. You'll you'll see, and um, the the people are. It, that's why Below Deck is so great. You know, every mm-hmm. season you get new people, right? So like, is this person you know gonna lose their minds? Is this person gonna get fired? Right? Shane just got fired. Um, yep. You know who? It that's that's the the. I don't want to say the perk of Blow Deck uh, that kind of brings people in to watch. So, um, yeah, I, as much as these people are crazy, it's it's good for TV. So uh, keep it going. We talked about it before about people. Some of these guests just want to be, and we all want to be catered, and especially the rich and famous, they want to be catered to. But what was the most insane thing that you were asked to do by a guest? First season, season three, we had some uh, we had some people that were that wanted Don Julio in the beginning of the charter. Um, they didn't show nearly enough of what they were asking for um, on the show. Uh, they cut a lot of it out. And a lot of people, when I say that, they were kind of surprised. And I'm like, you did not see anything from those guys. And they were the worst. And I can't emphasize that enough. That um, The first women, group of women with the uh, the nuts, they they were terrible. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, these, these people... You know, luck, luckily for for them, I should say, Bravo. You know, these shows are only 40, 40 minutes long. You know, with, <laughs> without the commercial break. Seriously, you could you could have made these these seasons 20, 30 plus episodes th- with the amount of stuff that's go that goes on. So, uh, but yeah, they, it can be it can be uh, you know it, it gets hard sometimes with all these requests and everything. And you know, we just have to put on a fake smile and uh, work for that tip. Did was the Don Julio group the one that literally wanted tequila at all times? Yeah, um, yeah, they wanted, I don't know, I guess Hannah, I didn't realize there was different Don Julios, and Hannah got the wrong yep. one, and they wanted everything chill, or, you know, yeah, I mean, and I feel bad, I always say, being a deckhand is so nice, because I play with jet skis all day, you yeah. know, it's not a bad gig, but the the stews inside that have to really deal with the food and drinks, and, and really their needs, I, I would not be able to do that, because they, they get the brunt of it, and uh, yeah, I, they, they're the ones that work hard. Oh yeah, plus you're dealing with drunk rich males and it could get a little weird i'm sure so yeah sure definitely definitely a lot of things that have happened what else have you been working on you still have your website and you still what what else is going on with you yeah um yeah I've, i had my uh podcast uh radio check which i've kind of put on pause for a little bit i've actually been working on um well, obviously, with with Galley Talk, the past few months I've been busy with that, and I've actually I'm I'm currently in the works on another show right now. Uh, I'm not getting too specific, but um, hopefully we can get that going this year. And um, that's that's really my baby right now. We're kind of working through this, and uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I feel bad. Luckily, I guess I, I can say I'm in the entertainment business now. Um, but with these people, you know, losing jobs and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, due to COVID, uh, it's just one of those, it's just a, just a time to just be thankful for, you know, what you have. And, uh, you know, I'm just lucky that 51 Minds, Bravo, they they keep thinking about me and I'm just very thankful for that. Yeah, that is great. Especially when we, we give a shout out to all our actors and musicians that you can't tour. It's unsafe to to really film and to be able to do it in in your living room or in somewhere where it's safe. It is a blessing. So we're really thankful for that. I think what you should do, I would want, and I think you should do it, uh, get Kate, do a review show with her. You guys, I think would be great. <laughs> yeah, Kate, Kate has no holding back. I try, I try and be nice. You know, I, I try not to, uh, you know, judge or 
dig into people too much. You know, that's not really my stuff. Kate, Kate can go all day. She's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I think she would rip me apart. <laughs> no, I think it would be great because you're the honey. You're the nice. You're you're the kindness. I, good, oh, yeah, I good good they, cop, bad cop. <laughs> I, yeah, I know they committed mass murder, but you know, they just had a bad day. And Kate's like, kill them. So, yeah, exactly. I think exactly. you guys would have a great show. But Colin, we just wanted to reach out to you. We're going to make sure all your fans and all the fans of Below Deck and bravo we have really gotten a lot of alumni started following us so shout out to yeah. all the alumni of below deck and all the fans and i know florence and i have really enjoyed our interaction with them florence you got sub i know you have something to ask colin i know your mom is super super excited to you being back on tv i saw her <laughs> posts on instagram your mom's so sweet i, I oh, adore thank you. your mother thank you i saw, actually I stopped i stopped that. over her house today and she was losing her mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah no and i i was so excited i mean i'm i think i'm just as excited for her as i am for you <laughs> well thank you Florence. And, um, appreciate it and i do i i do adore your mom and i know james does as well so how is she dealing like you're just saying kind of answered my question that you know she was going crazy i was just wondering i mean i know she just adores you i mean she's your mom and she loves you so much and i know this is such an exciting thing for her how i mean how is she handling it i mean i know she's going crazy but yeah you <laughs> know uh yeah i mean you nailed it on the head florence uh you know she, she was texting me all day and all the the emoji with like the star eyes you know i'm like <laughs> okay mom calm down calm down you know <laughs> Uh, you know, we're just sitting on the couch watching TV, you know, uh, but no, she's, you know, my parents, especially my mom, she may be a little over the top, but she's just very supportive. All my, you know, her sisters, my aunts, you know, on social media doing the same thing. They're just all very supportive. My entire, I'm just very lucky, uh, with all my friends and families, you know, around me and they're just a hundred percent, uh, you know, they lift me up every day. I'm just very thankful for them. And they hopefully I can get them excited, you know, some, something new to watch on TV. And uh, hopefully I can put a good name on the uh, on the family name. So, yeah. And before you leave, why don't you give us a couple updates, Colin? How's Anastasia doing? Anastasia's doing really well. Um, she teamed up with Hannah. She is doing a uh, Yachty training course. So they, they partner up doing that and they're, they're getting all these new yachties and trying to get them certified and sending them out into the wilderness, you know, so, yeah. uh, so to speak, to kind of get them started in the career. And I think that's very smart, um, you know, because there's a million boats. No one really knows, like, what's my first step? I was just lucky enough to apply to Below Deck and they accepted me. I've never worked on a yacht before, so I'm really, I get a lot of people DMing me about that. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not very helpful. You know, I only worked on the on the show, but uh, I always send them their way. And I've heard nothing but but great reviews from them and they're working hard. And um, yeah, she's, she's home in Vermont right now. She's working hard with Hannah, even though Hannah's overseas with her new kid. And um, yeah, there she's doing really well right now. How is Joao? Did he get his captain's license? Yeah, Joao's doing well. Um, you know, unfortunately, he was stuck in Africa for a while. He recently just got engaged before yeah. COVID started. So um, his fiance, who's a sweetheart, she's stuck in Queens. And uh, he's stuck overseas. So they just got to the Bahamas. I think they're on a vacation. They just got there a couple of days ago. And it's the first time they've seen each other in person since, I want to say, February, March, April, somewhere in there. So uh, they probably could not be happier right now yeah. to finally see each other. But yeah, he's this whole time, he's just been working on his courses um, just upgrading his license and just working hard. You know, Joao, that, that's what he loves to do. And uh, yeah, he's, he's sticking to it and he's doing really well. Now, Ben is probably one of the show's favorites. And how is he doing? Do you keep in touch with him much? No, I mean, I don't really, you know, Ben's really busy. You know, I, I just like the things he posts. I know he does his catering business, which is very successful. He, mm -hmm. he tells me all the time that he does, uh, events you know these high-end events you know which he makes a lot of money off of and i mean i don't blame him you know he can yeah. you know with his the food that he pumps out uh, with the clientele i would pay whatever to, to have that so yeah he's got his catering business he's doing really well with that and uh you know hopefully he was able to keep going through uh, all this craziness right now that's fantastic he's very talented uh chef uh now why don't you last thing why don't you talk we always talk about you we talk about your mom we talk about all the why don't you talk about your dad because i don't think i've ever heard anyone talk about him what kind of guy is he he obviously is kind of more laid back he's more in the background but what kind of guy is he and what has he meant to you <laughs> Yeah, my dad is, um, you know, he, similar to my mom. Like, they're both very outgoing. You know, he's the jokester. He's got all those 
the silly dad jokes, you know, he's that <laughs> typical guy. He's so funny, but you know, he's not a social media person and uh, you know, he doesn't do any of that stuff, but he's, he's very, uh, what am I blanking supportive. on? Word? Yeah. Very supportive. You know, my mom probably just expresses it a little bit more than my dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he, he's, He's proud of everything I'm doing and wants me to continue, you know, the successes of of the show and everything. And, you know, he's just, he's just one of those guys, you know, he's just say, hey, let me know uh, when your show's on and I'll watch it. You know, he says he's, he's very chill, but he's very supportive at the same time, which I love. Yeah, that's fantastic because you see a lot of people. Uh, I've seen some people where the parents will get a little bit carried away and and kind of try to steal the limelight. And your parents have really just kind of been that really supportive foundational background and just good people. And and I think that you're really lucky to have them. They're they're really good people. Yeah, well, well thank Colin, you. I appreciate that. Sure. Colin, we just wanted to reach out to you and talk to you. So we talk about you every once in a while. I try not to bug you too much because I know you're busy, but we love you to death. And we just really are excited. Seven o'clock Eastern time galley talk on bravo this is going to be a hit show i'm telling you and i know how the games play they're going to let it go for a while to see how the ratings are going to be but i'm telling you the ratings are going to be through the roof and they're going to blow up on friday this is going to be a great show congratulations colin and we'll be posting this out uh, i'll give you the last word yeah thanks guys for having me i appreciate it yeah uh, exactly what you said galley talk uh friday uh, January 1st, I hope everyone uh, had a good holiday and I hope everyone uh, enjoys, uh, has a happy new year because we, I think we all uh, need that. I think I'm, I'm allowed to say that. Uh, but yeah, it just uh, f- follow me uh, <laughs> yeah. Instagram, Colin underscore Maceo Tool, uh, Twitter, Colin Maceo Tool. Basically, just Google my name and you'll find me. There's not many Colin Maceo Tools out there. But uh, so <laughs> thank you everyone for watching and I appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to have all of Colin's contact uh, information. And again, I think you should go to his website. He's done some great podcasts and he's had some great guests on too. But we're very excited about the show. Everyone have a great holiday and please watch 7 o'clock Eastern Galley Talk on Bravo. Thanks everyone. Take care. Bye. Thank you.